Imagine taking the most powerful psychedelic and then having the cat with the hat lead you into a fantasy mansion. It might appear a little something like this. The man behind this thing is, to my knowledge, mysterious. I haven't met him. I don't know if he's still alive but I have no doubt that he holds some interesting opinions and could entertain a conversation that would not soon be forgotten. Oh, this about sums up my 30s. This place was built by a German immigrant who died not too long ago reputedly from dreams he was having sent by aliens. And there was no master plan. It was just piece by piece. As he'd have a dream, a new section would go up. But I think it's clear that we're not talking about aliens here. We're talking about the deep subconscious. We're talking about a man who grew up when we first went to the moon, when the first stories of UFOs start coming out also a man raised as a child in a Europe that was very religious and his sexual hedonistic impulses would have been constrained. And now as an older man in his dying years, bleh, they came out into this monstrosity, this beautiful monstrosity of a castle. <laughs> You've got to see this thing. I walked through this creepy castle all alone, which adds to the thought, anything could happen in any spot. I enter some chambers that are pitch dark. Who knows what could be lurking? <laughs> the cryptic throne. Well, I gotta fucking sit on this thing. There is a bizarre kind of energy in here. You know me, I'm not into the flim flam and the heebie jeebie and the woo woo, but uh, the intention that was put into this place, it's very sexual, very violent. It's impossible not to feel something when a giant cock is <laughs> pointing right at your face. <laughs> Trippy. It's hard to state the size of this thing. It is massive. This definitely gets a 10 out of 10 on the road less traveled scale. It is out there.